Today, environmental concerns are at the forefront of many business operations. For the food service industry, it's particularly important that businesses have environmentally friendly packaging options to offer their customers. But with terms like commercial, compostability, and biodegradability being thrown around, it can be confusing to navigate through the eco-friendly packaging space. In this video, we're going to break down two of the most popularly used materials for eco-friendly containers. Let's take a look at both compostable and biodegradable food packaging. What is biodegradable packaging by definition and process? Packaging materials labeled as biodegradable can be absorbed back into the earth after it gets broken down by microorganisms like bacteria and fungi. Put simply, biodegradation is a process where materials get broken down into simple organic components like biomass, carbon dioxide, and water. How does it work, you ask? It can take anywhere from days to years for materials to biodegrade, depending on the following. The material type, whether it is processed or left in a landfill, various environmental factors such as temperature, light, moisture, and air levels. For example, paper will biodegrade in two to five months, whereas a cotton t-shirt, for example, can take up to six months. It can only truly biodegrade when disposed of properly. More often than not, this means it is disposed of in a facility of processing plant that can regulate temperature, moisture, and oxygen levels. If it ends up in a landfill, the material will eventually biodegrade, but can take much longer than intended, think hundreds of years. What is compostable packaging by definition and process? Packaging materials labeled as compostable can decompose into natural elements within a determined time frame, typically only a few months Put simply, composting is a process where organic waste materials are recycled and reused, allowing organic carbon to return into the earth. How it works? Well, not all compostable packaging can be broken down naturally into a landfill. If a package can be processed via home processing, the label will indicate it as home compostable. If a package needs to be processed in a facility, the label will indicate commercially compostable. Often, to effectively convert organic materials to compost, the waste has to be commercially processed at an industrial compost center. This involves using heat, humidity, and microorganisms to decompose material which turns material into biomass, water, and other inorganic substances. How to choose the right compostable packaging? While biodegradation is unregulated in the United States, the same is not true of compost. In order to be labeled compostable, a product has to pass testing. What is the difference between biodegradable and compostable food packaging? A good rule of thumb to keep in mind. While all compostable materials are biodegradable, not all biodegradable materials are compostable. Biodegradation will naturally occur, whereas composting requires human intervention to be done correctly. Composting requires more specific conditions to be met, but is faster than biodegradation. At the end of the day, both biodegradation and compost containers are eco-friendly food packaging options. Whichever is the right one for you depends on the needs and priorities of your operation, as well as your customer's capabilities and willingness to follow proper procedures. If you're not sure what's the right one for your business, reach out to one of our sales consultants. At Imperial Daid, we have the food packaging products and expert knowledge you need for success. So contact us at your nearest Imperial Dade facility. Thanks for watching. Hit the like and subscribe button and leave a comment below.